following sheet music is so last year. First choosing string orchestra for the ensemble, then we choose a level of difficulty, in this case we'll choose four. In Brian Munoz's orchestra class at Wakefield High School, they are engulfed in music with the benefit of technology. It allows them to listen to the pitch and then they call back on their instrument in the same pitch pattern. And so it's an exercise meant to help develop their ear as well as their intonation. It's called smart music, popular homework, he says, for his musically talented students. The more practice that I have with it, the better I get when I sight read. Does it make playing the violin more fun? Yeah. Smart music, Munoz says, is for the ear. Sight reading will train them to dissect the music. It's going to generate a piece of music they haven't seen before. <laughs> Sight reading allows the students to get more adequate at reading rhythms and notes. Training them to compose their own melodies. I really enjoy, um, you know, putting whatever ideas pop into my head on the page and, you know, building an entire piece around that. Impressed with his style of teaching, Munoz's students nominated him for the Great American Teach-Off which included producing five YouTube videos. The first one was, how do we use technology to innovate in the class? The orchestra director finished in the top 10 in the whole country. How inspired were you that your kids nominated you? It was pretty awesome. It gets them involved and interested in the material and realizing that it's something that takes effort and time to develop those skills, and it's worth the achievement afterwards when you've put in that commitment.